you fight or you die. You got to be. But I'll tell you one thing. If you fight, I'll fight with you. You walk, I go to war with you. Thank you. 
when you die. Yes. Yes. Right. You fight. Oh, my God. Mm. My God. You fight. Right. 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 Ain't no service going to be like ours. No, sir. Uh-uh. It's time that I see it. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's not my shit. They don't see it. There's a shock wave that went out. In this region, there's a witch and there's a warlock. Uh -huh. And we have disturbed their territory. They have operated for a long time in freedom. And what the enemy is doing now, they're sitting in spies. They're sitting in spies. See what is going on here in the way. But we say that God is with us. And we are unafraid. We got the armies of the living God with us. And we come to serve the enemy notice. We didn't come here just for so. We come here to take over territory. Take it over and shut it down. I look for the witch and the warlock to show up. They say, man, they don't come themselves to see what is happening. This is real. Learn how to war in the spirit. Increase your prayer life. Increase your prayer life. Spend a long time with God. Get off Facebook. Put your phones down. And learn how to seek God's face. Everybody's connected to the way is under attack. Hmm? You're under the bulls out now. So you either fight or you die. Train yourself. Come here. We'll teach you how to pray. Pastor teach you how to pray. Yes. We all together. Yes. Learn how to walk. Yes. 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 See that a lot of us ain't won't take us seriously. Now y'all thought we were just praying and shopping just for so. Mm -hmm. But this is real, baby. Yes. This is real. Yes. When somebody take the time out of their life to put spells against you, yes. it's serious. Yes. To kill you. Here, somebody speaking your name to you specifically. My Lord. Your name using enchantments. Mm -hmm. But when you invoke the praise of the living God, God has to intercede on your behalf. You can't fight this thing naturally. Because the witch answers to God. The warlock answers to God. He may have the power, but he got to get the permission. Yes. Won't work. As long as you fight, God said, I'll fight for you. Amen. So, so don't, don't come in here lack of days. I need you to mark this day on your calendar. Every every Bible study, every every Sunday, prepare your mind. Prepare your mind. You prepare your mind. God will meet you. Yes. He'll meet you. Now let's give God a praise. Come on, come on. Let's yeah. give him a praise. Hey. How many fighters do I got in the house?
in the spirit. Hey, hey, hey. You ready, musicians? Hey, on the count of three. I need you to go for all you know. Hey, tell me I'm not seeing it. Yes, hey, I'm not. Yes, I'm not seeing it. Yes, I'm not seeing it. One. Yes, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it.
somebody. Come on, let's go, somebody. And think of you as a friend. But they're not your friend. They're not my friend.
And somehow that sounds spiritually that you just want the word. No, baby. You ain't going to get the word until that stuff get broke up on the inside of me. Hallelujah. He said, enter into his gates with and into his courts with. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sometimes we come to church too cute anyway. Cute folks don't get no breakthrough. Cute folks don't get no breakthrough. I wonder when you're willing to get ugly. Are you willing to get ugly? Are you willing to twist that wheel? Are you willing, willing, willing? Fighting is trying to keep you from getting into that holy place. 
Because it's when you get into that holy place, hallelujah, something's going to turn on, praise God. It's when you get into that holy place, God going to move some stuff. So, so the fight is to keep you out of that holy place so that you don't mark and get more territory. Listen at the word of God. What does it say, son? Finally, my brother. Finally, my brother. Oh, you ought to just tap somebody and say, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. Look, you, you've been acting weak long enough trying to get some attention from folk. Hallelujah, because I'm, I'm just going through. I'm listening. He said, be strong, Ricky. I can be strong because he told me to be strong. I don't have to be weak today. I don't have to, hallelujah, act like I like. Hey, babe, what you doing? God bless you. Now I'm talking about you. How you doing? You good? We good? All right. Yeah, yeah. Be strong. Amen. 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 See, I love my folks. Amen. Be strong. Be strong. In the Lord. Read. Yes, and in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. Not yours. His might. You can't do it. Amen. You, 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 you know what helped you drive up here today? His might. Not yours. You want to fall apart. You hear what I'm saying? Just throw in the towel. That, that, that's my flesh. In my flesh there dwells no good way. But be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Come on. But on the whole arm of God. Lord have mercy. Some of you trying to fight and you ain't even put on no armor. Could it be the reason why you keep getting wounded because you haven't put on the whole arm? Could it be the reason why you keep running from battle after battle because you ain't put on the whole arm? I know when you got on the whole arm because you can stand. When you keep falling, something you miss. It. You can't judge me, Pastor Scott, no, but I can show judge your arm. You miss something. And we are fighting a formidable adversary, young people. The devil studies you. He studies your everyone. He knows your weaknesses. Your proclivities. Come on, somebody. He knows what you look at on Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. You know, all that stuff got a wicked component to it. I mean, I, I, you know, I decided to activate a Snapchat, and I just went to just the, the part, the media part of it, and all I could see was booties and. Wow. <laughs> Y'all sit down and be, be holy all you want to. I know you saw it too. Damn it. I'm thinking, I thought we were just supposed to be trying to get connected here. Yeah, Y'all trying to get a brother to hook up. Get connected. <laughs> get real connected. <laughs> Instagram. You're selling shoes and Look. Yeah. Well, does the lady come with the pair of shoes? <laughs> See, y'all ain't gonna be real. That's why some ain't got no power in there. Saw something you should and you won't be real. Say, Lord, get it out my heart. You cover up and be faith. Hot, 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 hot.
are not going to win this spiritual battle using your own good common sense. Right. right. Those of you that, that, that you try to use your logic and reason to get through in all this life, you just ain't going to make it. Yeah, you need common sense. You, yeah, we need common sense. Some things in the natural you don't do. But when the enemy hits you in some places, Flamisha, he doesn't use logic. He will use, he don't fight fair, he fight fair. If he think that a talking dog would make you lose out on God, you'll walk home and roll up again to cuss you out. And you sit there like, wait a minute, I just fed you, and that naturally I'm talking to a dog. Yes. Oh, y'all quiet up in here. You can be married for, for, for 35 years, and all of a sudden your spouse comes out and love you no more. Come on, son. And just leave you hanging. Wow. You're getting close to him. All you folk whom the devil ain't fighting because you ain't doing nothing. That's right. And cutting your cable bill off, keep cutting your cable off, ain't the devil fighting. No, it's not. That could be the Lord. Okay. I, can't, I can't pay my rent. That ain't the devil, that's you. If you ain't no tither, if you ain't no giver, praise the Lord, you're going to lose some stuff. That's right. Just thought I'd throw that one in there for free. Yes. He said that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devil is smart. The devil, listen to me, when he comes after you, he does not just get up one morning, John, and say, you know what? I'm just going to mess with y'all today. That ain't how you do it. If he brings you under attack, he has a legitimate plan to come after you. The devil, Lord, I'm about to make him mad a little bit today. The devil thinks in two dimensions. He thinks territorial and he thinks generational. This is not on my notes. So it's fresh off the press. He thinks territorial and he thinks generational. Say that with me, territorial, territorial. and generation. The devil is not fighting you to take your car. The devil is not fighting you to keep you from getting in your house. He is fighting you over territory and generation. He is fighting you over territory and your seed. Lord and quiet. And the reason why we keep losing territory and we keep losing our generation because we are not taking the fight seriously. You thought getting up and coming to church Sunday morning was about, amen, it being rainy outside. Well, look, the sun coming out now. Make you feel bad until the service about halfway over. When the service halfway over, you know you can't get to church. Then all of a sudden, whatever will hurt, start feeling good. Yes, because there was a word coming that was going to unlock some things in your life. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me today? Yeah. He's fighting you over territory and he's fighting you over the generation. When Herod, hallelujah, heard that the magicians, the magi, were coming, they came out saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Hallelujah. And the Bible says, 
that when Herod heard this, he was troubled and all of Jerusalem with him. Is that right? And the Bible says that he brought the magi in. He brought the astrologers in. He brought the warlocks in. These were not godly men. These were warlocks. They were wizards. Oh, y'all go back and read the book. Hallelujah. And he demanded what time the star first appeared. When he got an answer, he said, y'all go and search and bring me word that I may worship him too. And the Magi found him and worshiped him, brought him gifts. And the Holy Ghost spoke to them in a dream and said, go back home another way. When Herod found out that he had been mocked of the wise men, he, pray the Lord, sent out a decree that every child, every male child, two years and under, actually every child, two years and under would be killed. Where did he get the specific timing of two years? He demanded of the wise men what time they saw the star. And so the timing of the star gives him an understanding that the Christ child was at least two years old. So when the man got come, he wasn't a little baby in the manger. He was a little toddler. Y'all quiet. And he went and tried to slaughter all of the children. Amen. It was fulfilled in Jeremiah saying, praise the Lord, that there was crying in Ramah and Rachel weeping for her children. Why was he trying? Because he was trying to snuff out the promise of the sea. Come here, Moses. The king kills all the male children. You have a child thrown in the night. Oh, y'all didn't get what I'm trying to hear. What do y'all think this homosexual agenda is about? Listen to me carefully. I am not homophobic. Okay? I ain't homophobic. I ain't scared of a gay man. I'll shake his hand. I'll hug his neck. I ain't going home with him. He ain't going home with me. I am fully persuaded that, that a female is all I need. So if someone who is homosexual or lesbian come to this church, we're not going to mistreat them. We're not going to beat them up. We're going to offer them Jesus. And if they sit on the chair next to you, don't you slide over and leave them sitting there. How dwell the love of God in your heart? Because really homosexuality is just the fruit of a deeper root problem. But the agenda, amen, of this homosexual agenda is to snuff out the seed. And they are targeting the African American community. They are attaching themselves to the African American. Oh, y'all don't like my talk, but I'm going to tell it like it is. You got your ball players dressing in heels and carrying purses around. Y'all don't like my talk. Because if I can make femininity look good, a man on a warrior or on an athlete, then the ball, because you know y'all ain't got your whole mind in. Whatever they come out with Hollywood, amen, praise the Lord, you're going to start doing it anyway. We used to pick at Pee Wee Herman for them tight pants he wear. And now we run them in the church. A whole evangelist end up in the, in the pulpit with no socks on, praise the Lord. How I mean, They used to get us. You know what I saw? I saw an ad on Facebook. I'm going somewhere with this. I 
promise. I saw an ad on Facebook for men skirts. Man. Got tied, got a nice towel and everything, and a skirt. Now I told y'all 15 years ago when I was preaching. I said, y'all talking about that you got women pants. I said, after a while, they're going to come out with men skirts. Didn't I say it? Now, y'all ain't got power to say nothing against it. Because you can't have it both ways. See how quiet the church has got here? All you got to do is keep on living. God will justify your words. You ain't got to fight. You ain't got to bind people up. Just tell them. And so this agenda is about snuffing your seed because two men can't have a child. Two women cannot bear children. You have all the chickens on the yard you want, but if there ain't no rooster up there, ain't no... That's just, now that's common sense. And they're starting young now, trying to indoctrinate your children. To make it look normal. These laws and rules in school. You see two boys walking down the hallway holding hands. And it looks normal. You can't say nothing because that's hate speech. They want to equate who you sleep with with the color of your skin and say it's silver right. The devil is a liar. I can hide who I want to sleep with. But I can't hide what I look like. See how black I am? I can't hide that. I am who I am. I got quiet. The enemy don't start see how people get caught because see I know I'm going somewhere. Yeah. See this is intricate. This is this is delicate surgery right now. I'm snipping some stuff off. I'm cutting some things away. Because the enemy wants to try to get in your mind and make you think that this is all right. And it's not all right. It's a plan of the enemy. He gets in your generation. And trust slick Deacon Willie. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you send your boy to the bathroom with Deacon Willie. Oh, and Deacon Willie is slicker than what you think he is. Now all of a sudden you got a boy walking around here acting funny. Because the spirit that got in. And then the church, the same church that he's supposed to get deliverance in, turns him away and treats him like he's an outcast. So guess what he does? He takes him and his gifts and his talent and go out into the world and he's mad at the church twice because someone from the church is the one that turned him out and then he couldn't find a place of acceptance in the house of prayer. Because every time somebody tells me what to do, I'm wondering, are you trying to get close to me because you want to help me? Or are you trying to get close to me because you want to sleep with me? So I'm confused. The last person that spoke in tongues tried to get up under my skirt. The last person that prophesied to me, hallelujah, tried to hit on me. Oh, y'all don't like me. You just sit right there. I'm coming right down your road, praise the Lord. And that's why. generation and he's trying to stop you from taking territory and so what he does y'all better start looking after your children you better start being better mothers and better fathers of your children you better stop sending your children to the bathroom with every and anybody you better stop letting your daughter sleep over everybody else's house all the time they won't sleep over there can we have a we don't have a makeover and all that nah 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 ain't nothing that gonna happen because I happen to know hallelujah your mama like women oh y'all don't like my talk that's the reason why some of your children come home quiet we're grown shut down 
Because somebody done messed with them. And they can't tell you what happened. You let them down. Because you didn't have your discernment on. You were too busy trying to go out there and run out the man that you wouldn't protect your child. I'm going to shut this thing down today. The devil is a liar. They have a promiscuous spirit. Now, now, now we want to call them hoes. Come on, somebody. We want to call them hoes. And, and skanks. They don't know how to say that word no more. We want to demean our girls because they got 10 children out of wedlock. We're talking about it. But when you have an opportunity to shut it down, you were the one turning the blind eye. You knew what was going on all the while. You knew what was Hallelujah. You let the enemy try to kill your seed. Hallelujah. Oh, but I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. But I'm trying to wake you up. I'm trying to stir up the warrior that's in you. And say it's time to fight. I'm looking at about four prophetic young ladies 
over here. And I can point you out, I ain't gonna mess with you. Because you're already being fought. Hallelujah. God is about to stir up that prophetic nature in your life. God is about to oh, oh. Connections. 
how the folk they think they they friends, but they ain't friends. They trying to get a soul tie. Soul tie not always sexual. Soul tie. Can I tell you? Put on the whole world so that you can know the wiles of the devil. They didn't teach you this in your Sunday school class. You got monitoring spirits that want to see everything you do. Know your business. The devil is not omnipresent. Did you hear me? He can't be everywhere. He's not God. He can't be everywhere at one time. But he has demons and spirits that he sent to monitor. To monitor you. So you get a person on your job that wants to hang tight to you and be your buddy all the time. They want to know your business. They want to know what you're going through. Why? And then you wonder every time it comes time for you to come up to promotion, why you get turned down. It's because they've been watching your every move and they are accusing you behind your back. Sabotaging you to shut you down. Listen, don't trust every big button smile. If he bowed leg and got hazel eyes or whatever y'all think he is, go, sometimes he's got a monitoring spirit to try to shut down your destiny. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Be careful everybody that want to know your people. Yes. You don't want to know. First of the month, you know, the check on me, you can pay on the first and the 15th. You got a friend. You got a friend in me. You get ready to get a new house. And every time you get ready to get out, the deal falls through. Amen. One time, my wife and I, we were counseling a young lady. Praise the Lord. She kept having trouble every time they were trying to just keep. And I told I, me and her, I said, listen. You and your husband go through, do what you're going to do. Don't tell nobody. Move in silence. Don't tell nobody what you're going to do. Just do what you're going to do. And before you know it, it'll be done. Then you can tell them once it's already done. Don't, don't tell it, don't tell it in, in the embassy stages. She obeyed what we told her. She said, Lord, if what y'all said, what I know it's. Because jealous spirits will fight you. Oh, you tell everybody about your relationship, make sure it's solid. Yes. Make sure it's solid. Because a jealous spirit. Hey, I'm going to tell me, Marcus, how do you get that pretty girl? Like, like I got dead flies on me. Everybody in heaven that you down here going to school, 
Feels so good. And you see, when you have a strong spirit that can shift an atmosphere, yeah. the enemy want to shut that down anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be in church. He'll yeah. have you just like, like, just like. Yeah. Can you learn who you are? Yeah. And when you know who you are, you're like, yeah, please, you okay. Uh -huh. Who do you think you, you know the, the, the spiritual thug and you want to come up? Yeah. I feel so good, I feel like I can turn it out in here. You know what I said? I feel like I can turn it out in here. I believe somebody got just what they wanted from the Lord. Somebody got a deliverance. Hey! Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, you got an answer to why you've been fighting all week long. Come on, honey, who's saying? Come on, rest on your special clothes. All right. We wrestle against principalities. I want you to pay attention to that. Principalities. Against powers. Powers. Against rules of darkness. Rules of darkness of this world. Against spiritual, spiritual weaknesses. Uh -huh. In our places. Wherefore. All right, stop right there. I need you to hear me good. I know we teach Satan is in the pit of hell, right? Go back to the pit of hell where you come from. Yes. Y'all heard people pray like that? Oh, Satan, the blood is against you. Go back to the pit of hell where you come. Satan is not in hell right now. His dwelling is not in hell right now. There are at least three levels of heaven. There is the first heaven, which is the atmosphere. Sun, moon, stars, you know, clouds. That's, 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 that's the first heaven. The second heaven, praise the Lord, is where Satan is. Satanic activity. The Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air. That's why you don't know, because you don't come to Bible study. You fight the devil, you don't know nothing about it. You're, you in hell right here. Get up under my feet. He's under your feet right now. He's in the atmosphere causing all kind of havoc. And you don't know how to bind stuff. Because you don't even know what you fight. You don't even know how to fight. Just because you've been in church for 50 years don't mean you know how to fight the devil. In the third heaven is where the throne of God is. See, if Paul said he knew a man in the spirit that such a one was caught up in the third heaven. Well, if there's a third one, you know there must be a first and a second. How do I know that it's in the air? Amen. I believe Daniel about the 10th chapter. You ain't got to go there. But go back there and read it. Daniel fasted and prayed for 21 days. And pray the Lord at the end of the 21 days, the angel appeared to him and assured him that I heard you the first time you prayed. God heard you. But as I was coming, the prince of Persia withstood me for 21 days. The prince of Persia is not a man because King Cyrus was the king of Persia. Are you listening to me? There is a principality, and that's what principality means, a prince. The angelic spirits that followed Satan, we didn't pray the Lord, he was cast out, amen, of the third heaven. Y'all ain't like my talk. Are given the title prince. There is a difference between a demon and a Angelic principality that follows Satan. Yes, yes. Demons walk, angels fly. The Bible says that whenever you cast out a demon, 
He walketh about seeking dry places. Y'all, y'all ain't liking my talk. Hell, when I say hell, I ain't talking about fire hell. It's very organized. Satan is organized. He has rank found in order. His demons obey him. The prince of powers. So the prince of Persia withstands Daniel for 21 days. All the days of his fasting and praying. This prince of polity. Principalities are given regions. And in those regions, they rule those regions to keep a certain type of bondage in that area. On every Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, y'all don't like my talk, there is a principality of violence and poverty. I don't care what city, what town, you go go find one. Yes, yes, yes. Blood Street, downtown Raleigh. One end is the governor's mansion. On the other end is the straight up who grew that grew up there, Walnut Terrace. Some places you you wouldn't be caught dead at night time. Same street, but a principality has control over that region. Yes, yes. Some people are controlled by those principalities because just as soon as you move out of one hood, you move to a whole new state and find a hood in the next state. Yes. Because you are used to that atmosphere. You're used to it. Y'all call it, what's the word, regentrification? That what it is when they come in and I'm telling you it's a changing of principalities. So go march. Go vote. I mean, you should exercise your civil duties, ain't right? But there's something behind the scene. There's something new, another type of principality. So the fight that you are experiencing is to cut off your generation. And to stop you from gaining territory. I have to quit. I'm about to stop because this is it's kind of heavy. The enemy wanted to kill my seed. He knew I was going to have 11 children. He wanted to kill me ahead of time. Yes. Yeah, I got 11 children. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I was born in the hood. Yeah. But the heart didn't say, I come from a close family. I didn't have much. But the Lord did good to me. Yeah. I was born to my mama when she was 14 years old. She was encouraged to have an abortion because of the way I was born. Oh, y'all sit down with me. I'll tell you the whole story. I can't, I can't tell you that. It's too, it's too deep. But just understand that I was born under less than favorable conditions. So she was encouraged to abort me. Whenever they ever tell you to kill your child, there's a destiny behind that man. Every last one of your children are blessings from the Lord. Did you hear me? Don't you let nobody. That's right. Give them a hand clap. Give them all those folks that got children. Don't you never let nobody. They scared step children. Now I don't know what to do. Listen. Before you get married, you have about a thousand of them. And they won't talk, but you get married and you start having it. You got them. Mind your business! Yeah. 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 They mind! Yeah. 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 Legal! Yeah. You get married, you do. Real 
kingdom and have children. So y'all got that backwards. Y'all trying to get your career education and then get your little something, something on the side while you're getting your career going. That's why you keep getting messed up.
Has everyone had an opportunity to sow? All right. God bless you. The pastor is getting ready to relinquish this mic back to the elder who's going to give us a man of benediction. But if this is your first time being at the Way Church, can I get you to stand this afternoon quickly? Anybody? First time? All right. tell you that there is an anointing on your life. I don't think I know who you are. You look for me, but I don't think I know who you are. But I do know that there is an anointing on your life. The Lord says that the fight has been very strong for you. But he says you are coming out of that dark place. He says I'm going to give you victory. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Victory is coming to you. Come on, get back to We love you all with the love of the Lord. We thank God for you. Thank you, amen, for allowing us to flow in the spirit. Um, we're not going to have regular, normal church services. Sometimes we're going to get out early, early. Sometimes you'll be surprised how early you get out. Just in time enough for the game. <laughs> Sometimes you may have to linger in the presence of the Lord. God is not no microwave popcorn God that you just snap your fingers in. That's it. Amen, sir? But if you want something from him, you go after him. Come on, tell him thank you. Maddie, will you stand up today? Today is my daughter Maddie's ninth birthday. Amen. 